I am delighted, incredibly delighted. It's taken too many years to get to this point. It's such an irony that I started this journey from the US Supreme Court to Guantanamo, then back into the federal court system in Canada, and, and, it, and it takes an Alberta judge to release Omar Khadr. And I want, at all times, the Canadian public to understand the context. When, when the Harper government says he committed a heinous crime, what it doesn't say is that we were the only Western country that didn't request one of his detainees to return home. We left a child, a Canadian child, in Guantanamo Bay to suffer torture. And not only did we leave a child to suffer torture, we, Canada, participated in his torture. And yet it's that same Canada that, that comes before the courts and gets all kinds of deference when itself is perpetrated by barrack acts. And so today is a wonderful day for justice. It's a start. I have spent many years, whether it was in Guantanamo in a concrete cell, or whether it was in Millhaven, or whether it was in Edmonton Max where he'd been beaten up by white supremacists within five minutes of arriving there, to always keep hope. And, I've, and I became tired of keep saying that same mantra. And so today, that has worked. But let me say to these guys, why don't they get a camera and sit with me and challenge me and show me just how stupid I am? Show, them, show me and prove to the Canadian public whatever I've said about Omar Khadr is not true. And I would like to ask them, why don't they talk about the truth? Why don't they talk about their own representatives from the Department of Foreign Affairs who went to Guantanamo over the years and provided written reports ordered by the court of which I have copies. And every one of those reports talked about Omar Khadr being a wonderful guy. And how about when we talk about committing a heinous crime? Why do we spend millions of dollars rehabilitating child soldiers along with the Americans in Sierra Leone? And yet we know that we had one. We had a a young boy at 15 dropped into abandoned in a house with other Taliban people by his father and we gave him no mercy. I was asked in Guantanamo a number of times, why is Canada not doing something for this young man? You'd have to ask Mr. Harper. My view is very clear. Mr. Harper is a bigot. Mr. Harper doesn't like Muslims. Mr. Harper, I, I once said publicly to Mr. Harper, when you put your children to bed, ask yourself whether you would like your child, children to have been abused like Omar Khadr. I followed that child to a grown man, and I keep hearing the same mantra. It's perhaps, it's also political. He wants to show he's tough on crime, and who does he pick on? A 15-year-old boy who was picked up and put in the hellhole of Guantanamo. Omar Khadr is not going to have a lengthy conversation with you. He's never been out, he's never smelled the fresh air, he's never seen the trees. I'm going to go slow with him, but he's certainly going to, he needs to address the Canadian public.